Free software means, roughly, that the users have the freedom to run, copy, distribute, study, change and improve the software. The official definition is A program is free software if the program's users have the four essential freedoms. The freedom to run the program as you wish, for any purpose, freedom zero. The freedom to study how the program works, and change it so it does your computing as you wish, freedom one. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. The freedom to redistribute copies so you can help others, freedom two. The freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others, freedom three. By doing this you can give the whole community a chance to benefit from your changes. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. A program is free software if it gives users adequately all of these freedoms. Otherwise, it is non-free. Free software is a matter of liberty, not price. Users, individually or in cooperation with computer programmers, are free to do what they want with their copies of a free software, including profiting from them, regardless of how much is paid to obtain the program. To make the concept clear, free, should be low of as in free speech, not as in free beer. The term Libre software, is also used, to show the difference from software that is gratis, i.e., without cost. Free software was embraced by many enthusiasts, and distributions of free software started to evolve. Some distributions included complete operating systems, with tools, as well as, many useful user programs. One such distribution was Debian, maintained by the community, known as the Debian Project. The Debian Project, in order to resolve some issues, that it faced when deciding if a particular software was free or non-free, came up with some guidelines, that become part of the Debian social contract with the free software community. These are known as the Debian Free Software Guidelines, or DFSG. The Debian Free Software Guidelines are Free Redistribution The license of a Debian component may not restrict any party from selling, or giving away the software as a component of an aggregate software distribution, containing programs from several different sources. The license may not require a royalty, or other fee for such sale. Source code. The program must include source code, and must allow distribution in source code, as well as compiled form. Derived works. The license must allow modifications and derived works and must allow them to be distributed under the same terms, as the license of the original software. Integrity of the author's source code The license may restrict source code from being distributed in modified form, only if the license allows the distribution of patch files with the source code, for the purpose of modifying the program at build time. The license must explicitly permit distribution of software built from modified source code. The license may require derived works to carry a different name or version number, from the original software. This is a compromise. The Debian group encourages all authors not to restrict any files, source or binary, from being modified. No discrimination against persons or groups. The license must not discriminate against any person, or group of persons. No discrimination against fields of endeavor. The license must not restrict anyone from making use of the program in a specific field of endeavor. For example, it may not restrict the program from being used in a business, or from being used for genetic research. Distribution of license. The rights attached to the program must apply to all to whom the program is redistributed, without the need for execution of an additional license by those parties. License must not be specific to Debian. The rights attached to the program must not depend on the programs being part of a Debian system. If the program is extracted from Debian, and used or distributed without Debian, but otherwise within the terms of the program's license, all parties to whom the program is redistributed, should have the same rights, as those that are granted in conjunction with the Debian system. License must not contaminate other software. The license must not place restrictions on other software, that is distributed along with the licensed software. For example, 
the license must not insist that all other programs, distributed on the same medium, must be free software. Example licenses The GPL, BSD, and artistic licenses, are examples of licenses, that we consider free. Open source software The open source definition was originally derived from the Debian Free Software Guidelines, DFSG. Open source doesn't just mean access to the source code. The distribution terms of open source software must comply with the following criteria. 1. Free redistribution. The license shall not restrict any party from selling, or giving away the software as a component of an aggregate software distribution, containing programs from several different sources. The license shall not require a royalty, or other fee, for such sale. 2. Source code. The program must include source code, and must allow distribution in source code, as well as compiled form. Where some form of a product is not distributed with source code, there must be a well-publicized means of obtaining the source code, for no more than a reasonable reproduction cost preferably downloading via the internet without charge. The source code must be the preferred form, in which a programmer would modify the program. Deliberately obfuscated source code, is not allowed. Intermediate forms, such as the output of a preprocessor, or a translator, are not allowed. 3. Derived works. The license must allow modifications and derived works, and must allow them to be distributed under the same terms, as the license of the original software. 4. Integrity of the author's source code. The license may restrict source code from being distributed in modified form, only if the license allows the distribution of patch files with the source code, for the purpose of modifying the program at build time. The license must explicitly permit distribution of software built from modified source code. The license may require derived works to carry a different name, or version number, from the original software. 5. No discrimination against persons or groups. The license must not discriminate against any person, or group of persons. 6. No discrimination against fields of endeavor. The license must not restrict anyone, from making use of the program in a specific field of endeavor. For example, it may not restrict the program, from being used in a business, or from being used for genetic research. 7. Distribution of license. The rights attached to the program must apply to all to whom the program is redistributed, without the need for execution of an additional license by those parties. 8. License must not be specific to a product. The rights attached to the program, must not depend on the programs being part of a particular software distribution. If the program is extracted from that distribution, and used or distributed within the terms of the program's license, all parties to whom the program is redistributed should have the same rights, as those that are granted in conjunction with the original software distribution. 9. License must not restrict other software. The license must not place restrictions on other software, that is distributed along with the licensed software. For example, the license must not insist, that all other programs distributed on the same medium, must be open source software. 10. License must be technology neutral. No provision of the license may be predicated on any individual technology, or style of interface. The Free Software Foundation sees the free software movement, as a campaign for computer users' freedom, meaning that a non-free program is an injustice to its users, while it sees the open source camp, as basing its arguments on practical benefits only. Therefore, it wishes to distinguish the terms free software, and open source software. For the same reason, it prefers the initials FLOS from free slash Libre and open source software, to the initials FOSS from free and open source software, as it deems that this puts free software, on equal footing with open source software, within the FLOS term.